All right, so we got the uh, the mod deuce here. Yeah, so this this is the half size mod deuce. Uh, it's set up at, right now on 22 Magnum. It also has a extra barrel set up for 17 HMR. They just unscrew, you screw one out, put the next one in, it works pretty good. These handles are in case it's real hot for changing barrels. So 22 Magnum is? That one. So the brass is about the length of a 22 long rifle and the 22 HMR or the 17 HMR is a 22 Magnum brass neck down to a 17 caliber bullet. That's about a 17 grain bullet, and these are what 40? Yeah, these are 40. Yeah. So this this will shoot both calibers just switch yeah. by switching but out the by barrel. Just by changing barrels because the breech face and everything else is the same. The cases 17 is based off the 17 HMR case, off the 22 mag case. So it, uh, but they're both the same at the back. It's only the front where it's neck down. It's the only difference. So all you have to do is change the barrel. The rest of the recoil system is set up to run either. So how does it um, work? It operates pretty similar to the little one we did the video on last time. Uh, you open up the top cover, you can see the bolt here with the cam track. That just rides this, the cam track when this pin rides in here, that drives the feed, the, the belt feed, because the belt's coming in here, going through there. And then this is when the, when the bolt cycles, it's pulling the rounds out of the belt, dropping them down the breech face, and then putting them into the chamber. So it drops the empties down through the bottom? And then, yeah, then the next one comes in, it will actually push the empty out. Uh, this this re this cocking handle doesn't reciprocate. If you can see, if you see it right, if the bolt is back, so when when, it, when you're actually firing, the cocking handle will and this one will stay up front, and just this just the bolt stud will go back and forth. I see that. Um, this is set up so you can switch switch the cocking handle to either side if you want. Uh, standard modus set up that way. A full size actually has two tracks, so you can feed from the left or from the right. We didn't have room to fit both tracks on here, so we just went with the uh, right the left hand feed. A trigger. There's little butterfly paddles. Um, either one, they're both they're both connected together. You hit them, it drops your hammer. So either one will work. So yeah, they're 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 both they're, they're both connected internally. So this is just just keep hitting that. This one is of course semi-auto as well. So you have to keep keep clicking the trigger every is time it, to make it go bang. Is it faster to use both thumbs or one at uh, a time? You, you, can, you can alternate thumbs if you want. You can actually get a pretty good uh, speed up here if you ever, ever used to play arcade video games as a child. And, uh, <laughs> You can, you can run pretty fast with your thumbs. Uh, this one has a safety on it. It's, just, it's engaged by actually rotating this. So now the the, uh, th the trigger won't move. And you rotate it back to fire. Oh, cool. How does the adjustments on the tripod work? Adjustments on the tripod are your kind of center traverse and elevation here. So this knob is elevation up and down. Uh, if you want gross side to side, you can loosen it up and slide side to side. Otherwise, there's a knob over here that does the fine feed you know, left and right. Oh, really cool. Show us how to switch the barrel out. The barrel, to, to, to this one, the easy way to change the barrels is to you pull off the pull out the T&E, remove the, from the tripod. And now there's a hex key down here. This is just to get to make sure we have positive positioning on the barrel. Uh, and where my wrench? I had a wrench around here somewhere. They got the right tool now. So this just locks the barrel into position. And then all you have to do is Pull the bolt back a little bit. If it's really hot, use the handle otherwise. You just pull it out. Spare barrel. Thread it on in there. Is it seated just right? It's got a little bit of wobble in the right position. That's what this bolt screw is for. It just sets it up. Okay, and it's final lock position. So is headspace an issue down. on this? Headspace is an issue. These are both w w with the uh, when that detent and that in the end of that screw engages in the barrel, mm -hmm. it sets the headspace correctly. Uh, you look, you can see there's a little spot there that the screw has to get into to get the headspace just right. Okay. So yeah, if the, if the screw doesn't if the screw doesn't hit that, it won't be it, it's going to be off. But if the screw is set up flat in there, it'll be set up correctly. So this is not like the real 1919 where you have... Uh, now the real 1919 had a click adjust system where you could actually move the barrel in and out just a little bit. And okay. 19, the Mod Deuce is the same way. You can click adjust the barrel a little bit to uh, set the headspace based on the kind of ammunition. Um, pretty much rim fire ammunition and most rimmed ammunition is all set up headspacing on the rim anyway. So the only critical part for head, for headspacing is the depth of the little rim cut right there. Okay. Uh, uh, the rear sight is very similar to the 19, uh, 19 over there. There's a flip-up option, a little tiny slider, um, so you can 
to really do long range shooting or flip it down, your traverse is done by, with this little tiny thumb, thumb screw here. So you can get your left and right. And then the, and front, the front is just, just a, hooded. a little hooded post. Oh, that's not much of a sight radius. It might be just the, uh, damn it, there's something wrong with this thing. So what's going on there? That was a case blowing up. Why? Because it fired out a battery for some reason. It, uh, oh, I, right. I don't know why. Maybe it's not headspace properly. Yeah, it's headspace. <laughs> there. It's broken off right here. There's a little, if you look down here, a, it's hard to see, but there's a little notch. Yeah. I don't way down in there. That. That notch is where the... Whereabouts? Right down, you see that oh, man, notch in the bottom there? Oh yeah, there's a little divot in a little there. little divot in there is where Okay. this tab, there's supposed to be a little tab on the end here that uh, sticks, has to st it sticks in that divot when it pop, when just when the bolt goes in a battery, it can drop down. That, that lets the firing pin go all the way forward. I see. So the reason it, was fi it fired out a battery because that wasn't there to stop it from just to top the firing pin from going forward whenever it wanted. So what do you do? Just, like you can see that. Yeah, you can see yeah. it broke right off. Yeah. It's gone. Oh, so you, you right, need to. Right there. Uh, so yeah, so it's the whole end broke off. I guess make a new one of those. So you machine that. That's a bitch. Those are a pain in the ass to make. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that that that's the firing pin safety, and that, that's broke. That's why it went out of batteries because it was broke off. It's probably also why it wasn't working too good because that. The axis it slows down the bolt cycle, holds the bolt closed a little longer, so that slows the bolt down. Which means